Hi everybody, Lampkin here. Hope you're all doing good. Today we're going to be looking at some back turn tech that's uh, hopefully going to help you become more safe when you're playing and utilizing uh, back turn moves. And it's going to help. It's going to be useful for you to uh, force a whiff on your opponent and become better at uh, punishing them and baiting them with back turn. Um, so this tech it kind of works on all characters. And I'm going to show you some practice drills with law in a moment. But first, uh, I'm going to explain like what is this tech and how does it work. And I think you, Yoshimitsu will be uh, useful useful for this uh, purpose. So basically, when you're in back turned towards your enemy, you have a couple dip different options to turn back towards them. Now, and there's pros and cons to all these options. You can press back. Oh yeah, and by the way, I don't have a hand cam on today because uh, this technique, it's a very, very subtle uh, thumb movement. You won't be able to see anything really on the hand cam anyways. This, is, this technique is better explained than shown visually, I think. But I'm going to try and explain it as best as I can. So it might be a little bit tr uh, tricky, but uh, we'll, we'll see if we can get through it. So yeah, the, the first option you have and the most safe option is to press back, just like this. It is the fastest way to turn around. Just like this, pressing back. The fastest and the safest way. Now, the, the downside uh, of, of this is that it doesn't create much space between you and your opponent, as you can see. It creates a little bit of space, but y y not much at all. Another option you have is you can press down back. This will cre create a lot more space between you and your opponent, which is uh, a lot of the time preferable. But it, this is slower. So people have, have an easier time catching you in the back when you try and turn around like this. So how this tech works is that you can actually cancel this animation here, the pressing back into the down back animation, to, causing you to to, to uh, yeah do this animation right here, but in in the speed of this animation, if that makes any sense. So let me try and uh, show you here. You see how fast that was compared to this can be a little bit tricky to see maybe I'm gonna try and illustrate in another way here so Yoshimitsu he has this back turn meditation stance right here and he cannot Yoshimitsu he cannot uh, do the down back turn around from uh, uh, back turn meditation he can only press back like this if, if you try to do down back he will just do like a sidestep uh, down back you see it's very slow and it doesn't create much distance at all. So if you wanna if you wanna do down back like this from back turn meditation stance with Yoshimitsu, you have to use this tech right here. Let me see. This one, you see? There you go. See how fast that was that was as well. That's 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 the best way to. Uh, or that's the, sorry sorry the only way to do that uh, from back turn stance with Yoshimitsu, which makes this a pretty good way to practice this tech right here. And Yoshimitsu players use this a lot, at least at a high level. And the reason they use it so much is because they go into back turn meditation stance. They put putting like pretty much what you're doing is you're fro you're showing your your throat to the lion, right? You're like here come kill me now. I'm here, Anna Schwarzenegger, you know, right? Kill me, do it. And then your enemy, uh, they see the buffet on the table, right? Oh, I've got, I got a free back turn combo here. They, they go to punish you and you just whoop, you whip around like this and now you're in a crouch and you can all of a sudden whip punish them with a while standing launcher or something like that, right? So it's incredibly, incredibly useful to be able to use this as a Yoshimitsu uh, player. Um, and I'm gonna show you uh, exactly how to do this in a second. But uh, also, I wanna uh, do a quick shout out to one of my viewers who said, uh, "Yeah, uh, I don't, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, Main Tay Bergen, 4617. I think you said, said in the comment section uh, recently that, of course, this technique it used with uh, it, it works with every character, and he actually gave a really good uh, tr practice drill that I haven't." Uh, tried myself before until now and it, it I, I tried it out as he suggested and it actually works very well for practicing this uh, tech right here so shout out to you main tape bergen 46 uh, 17 uh, really good practice drill i'm going to show it here in this video uh, later but uh, first of all let's look at exactly how this uh, tech uh, works all right if you have absolutely no prior experience with this tech i would uh, 
suggest that you try this out with Yoshimitsu at first. So try picking Yoshimitsu in practice mode, and then you're gonna do 3 plus 4, like this. It will put you in a back turn meditation stance. So what you're gonna do from back turn meditation stance, you're gonna do uh, basically back, and then down, back, back. But you're gonna do it very, very fast and very, very subtle uh, with your thumb. And you will know, uh, it's, this, is, this is why it's easy to see with Yoshimitsu, because as I said, he cannot do traditional down back. Uh, he can from back turn like this, but from uh, back turn meditation stance, he cannot do a traditional down back input like this. So you'll know if you get if you get this like sidestep back thing, you are you are doing it uh, incorrectly. And if you you get this, you're doing it uh, slow too slow. What you want is this right here. So if you look at my input, it's gonna be uh, back down back uh, back. And again, what you're basically doing is you're doing this the fast turnaround, but then canceling it into down back which will give you the down back animation but at the speed of the normal back turn like this that's basically what you're doing now let's uh, let's show you a drill uh, to put this in practice to see what what are the actual benefits of this in a, in a real fight all right so let me show you how to practice this tech effectively and again thank you to maintain bergen 4617 for coming up with this very useful uh, practice method right here uh, this routine. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick Horang as a, sp a sparring partner. You're gonna go to practice settings and go into opponent's action and change it to standing block. Then you're gonna go to actions after a hit or block and change it to punish. And you're get, gonna set, uh, go to punishment settings and record a punish right here. You're gonna be recording Horang's forward 1 plus 2. Just like that. And again, your mileage may vary a little bit here from character to character in terms of like what are the frames of certain uh, moves that put you in back turn. But for me, I use law, law. I can use down back two. I can use two back two. I can use back four, hold back. Something like that, right? And you'll notice right away here that uh, if I use just do like press and hold back, I can turn around fast enough to, to block his, uh, his punish. But if I use uh, down back to turn around to try and create more distance between he and I, it's not fast enough. This is the slower option, so I'll, I'll get hit in the back right here. You see? But if I use this tech right here, I can actually make him whiff. You see that? Just like that. By can by cancelling the, uh, the, the normal back turned animation, this one into the down back I can actually get the down back animation like this but at the speed of the normal back animation allowing me to uh, make him whip and actually whip punish him just like that it can be tricky now there is this, there is a certain sweet spot not, if you get hit in the back like this, you're probably too slow. And if you get this uh, right here, you probably got a miss input. So try and try and find that uh, that sweet spot. Oh. You see. Uh, so that's how it works, and that's why it's so useful because you can make your opponent force a whiff, and then uh, yeah, you'll you'll be safer while in back turn as well. Uh, it's incredibly useful. It's very tricky. Uh, I hope I did a good job explaining how to do it because it's almost impossible to show you with the pad. I wanted to have the hand cam on today, but it's it's just such a subtle movement. You're gonna have to try and find that uh, sweet spot yourself. Um, so uh, I, I hope you I hope it, you found it useful. And informative and uh, yeah go give it a try see what see what you think uh, maybe try it out in a couple of quick matches or something uh, see how it works out for you and uh, yeah other than that again I hope you found it useful and uh, good luck with it uh, I guess so yeah until next time have a good one